The journey for every married woman is to get pregnant and have her own kids. But did you know the journey to get pregnant is different for every woman? The journey is not the same. Just like us on YouTube, our journeys are not the same. Some people get monetized within two months, others within a year. Some get monetized and they don't have consistent views. Others get monetized and they have consistent views. So the journey is different. Never you put pressure on anyone. Same for pregnancy. If you are married, you should not be pressured. Maybe because Celine is now pregnant and you are not. Maybe because both of you got married on the same day and she has two kids you don't have. Please, the journey is different for everyone. Hello, beautiful people. Thank you so much for joining us on this episode of our health discussion. I want us to talk about how you can get a baby boy or a baby girl. Now, you should understand that getting a baby boy or a baby girl will also depend on all the other factors. If you're joining us for the very first time, please do us a favor, click that red subscribe button and hit notification. If you have been here, may God bless you, continue to be with us. Now, the male actually has both X and Y chromosome, while the female has just the X chromosome. So, for you to have a male, you need the X and the Y chromosome. And the sponsor has this X and Y chromosome, but the X cell released by the woman has just the X chromosome. So, for you to have a baby boy, you will need the X chromosome from your wife, Y, the Y chromosome from you, the man. But to have a baby girl, you just need two X chromosomes. It never means the sponsor that carries Y chromosome is very important when it concerns you having a male. And the woman will play no part in having a male because it is the man that determines if you can have a male child or not. Since the sponsor has got eggs that can meet with their own eggs to have a female and why that can meet with their own eggs to have a male. But now, when is it possible for you to have that male child or a female? To have a male child is during your ovulation, when you're ovulating. It therefore means that for somebody who is 28 days, on day 14, that'll be your best day to have a male child. For somebody who is 30 days, on day 16, that'll be your best day for you to have a male child. Because on day 16, you're going to ovulate. Why for female? Three days before ovulation. So if it is day 14, so maybe around day 12 or day 11, you will get a female child. We all need to understand that children are a gift from God, meaning despite the science, we still know that the Lord is the one giving us either a male or a female. So we have to keep that. But while we keep doing the right things, like I said, all the other factors being equal, you will have a male child if you have sex within your ovulation day, the day you ovulated, and you have a female child three days before that, before your ovulation. So, thank you very much for actually watching this video. If you consider our material helpful, please share it to your friends, share it to your family members. Thank you very much. See you on Thursday with another episode on our health discussion. Thank you so much. May God bless you. Have a blessed day.